Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to do a short little video on this uh, new gimbal lock I've designed up for the Up Air One Plus. Now, I've had this guy out on Thingiverse for a while. This is for the Up Air One or the older version, and it has a little bit different gimbal. So, I've come up with a new design for the uh, One Plus, and here it is. And it locks in a little bit different. Instead of going up in here, as the old version does, it locks in around the gimbal mount down here. So, kind of long story short, it just slides in, and uh, a little hard to do with one hand. But what happens is it just slides over the camera like the other one does, and over top of the uh, bracket as I bump the camera here, um, and locks in. So I'll have this out on Thingiverse, and uh, so if you want it, download it, print it, non-commercially, and uh, enjoy. Also, for those without 3D printers, I'll do just like I did with the... Um, one version I'll set up and I'll have a link below for an eBay website uh, where you can order these. So uh, they're about going to be about uh, 15 bucks with about $3 shipping to the U.S. I'm only going to do the U.S. because um, it's just uh, unfortunately too much of a pain in cost-wise to do internationally. you got to fill out like 20 million forms and it's like 10 times the price to ship internationally. So sorry about that, folks. But domestically, that's what it's going to be. And again, it takes about an hour or so to print one of these, plus the plastics, plus the time trip to the post office and all that. So I'm just kind of doing this, um, you know, to help those out there that uh, want to get one of these and don't have a 3D printer. Also, um, you know, just a little bit of slack, too, on if you do buy one of these from the uh, eBay website. I travel a lot for business, so I typically ship these out on the weekends. So, again, I'll have the link below for these on eBay if you're interested. And uh, if you have your own 3D printer, just go out to Thingiverse, get it, and print it yourself, and uh, enjoy. And, uh, hey, if you found this interesting and you printed one of these, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you do get one of these off of Thingiverse, please do me a favor. Do a make out there on it. Show me a picture of it. Just, you know, kind of support me on Thingiverse. So for those that don't know, too, is I also have another channel, DIY channel, called DIY3DTech.com. Link will be below where I do all kinds of cool 3D printing, laser cutting, and CNC stuff. So if you're interested in that, hey, subscribe to that channel, too. And, again, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Big thumbs up, subscribe over there, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.